I think one problem which I would l would like to see more more researched on is really um, the precise nature of the correlations that we all experience between the mind and the brain. Because there are many people who do cognitive science and psychology and these studies, and there are many people who do, do, who do brain science and, and neuroscience, and then they are focusing on that. But the nature of the correlations that everybody observes is completely unclear. And it's, it's astonishing that not more research is done on this, on this issue. And when you, then the next question, of course, is when you want to do this research, how do you do it? I don't think it's enough simply to look for you know, heaps of empirical data just showing that there are these relations and then hope that you know, by some miracle insight will appear. I think we also need a, a very profound research uh, into the theoretical basis and the conceptual basis of this question. And then this also raises the question of which kind of philosophical, um, let me say, model could be could be leading to these theoretical research questions. And then I would say my, <laughs> my favorite would be um, anything like neutral monism or dual aspect monism, or maybe also a little bit of panpsychism as, a, as an additional spice somehow, right? Because uh, my sense is that uh, this is the philosophical position which is really able uh, to at least give us an intuition about how these correlations between the mental and the material as two aspects of one underlying, let's say, unity can emerge and can be derived out of it. So dual aspect monism, neutral monism, that, that I would think would be very interesting philosophical positions to go, to go more into in the future.